Welcome to Reading with Robots. I'm Katie, a member of Way Robotics, a first robotics team from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Today I'm reading with Pollux, uh, the robot we built in 2019 Deep Space Season. Today's book is Margaret and the Moon by Dean Robbins. Margaret Hamilton loved to solve problems. She came up with ideas that no one had ever thought of before. Why were there only daddy long legs? Margaret had a solution. She would call some of them mommy long legs too. Why didn't girls play baseball? Margaret had a solution. She would join the team herself. Why didn't more girls grow up to be doctors or scientists or anything else they wanted? Margaret had a solution. She would study hard in every subject at school. Reading, music, art, and especially mathematics. She learned as much as she could about addition and subtraction, multiplication, and division. Margaret's father was a poet and philosopher who talked to her about the universe. She asked about how the planets moved when the galaxies formed, why the stars shone. Okay. She gazed at the night sky in wonder. How many miles to the moon? 238,855. How many miles does it take to travel around the Earth? 1,423,000. How fast does it go? 2,288 miles per hour. How big around is it? 6,783 miles. Margaret began solving harder and harder math problems. It was fun working her way through those steps. She liked moving around X's and Y's in algebra. She liked measuring circles and triangles in geometry. She liked studying curves and calculus. And then she discovered computers. In 1964, Margaret got interested in an exciting project for NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. Their scientists were working on the hardest problem humans ever tried to solve, flying people to the moon. Could Margaret use computers to get the astronauts 238,855 miles there and 238,855 miles back? She convinced NASA's leaders to let her try. Margaret thought of everything that could happen on a trip to the moon. Would the spacecraft go off course? Would it lose power? Would the, an astronaut make a mistake? Margaret wrote code to tell the computers how to solve these problems. She worked her way through the steps just as she could to do in math class. Soon, Margaret became director of software programming for NASA's project Apollo, leading dozens of scientists. She helped Apollo 8 orbit around the moon 10 times. She helped Apollo 9 connect two ships in space. She helped Apollo 10 get within nine miles of the moon's surface. With Apollo 11, NASA would finally try to put people on the moon. Had Margaret thought of everything that could go wrong with all the lunar landing? She checked her code again to make sure. The astronauts were depending on her. Margaret's code. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, liftoff. Apollo 11 rose through with a blast of the smoke and fire. Margaret followed along from a control room and the whole world watched on television. For four days, the spacecraft drew near to the moon. The lunar model named the Eagle split off to make the landing. Yippee! But with minutes left to go, an astronaut entered a command and the massive alarm buzzed. Whoops. The Eagle's computer starts performing too many tasks. Overload, overload. Yikes. The control room panicked. The moon landing was in danger. Avram looked at Margaret. She had prepared for this problem, of course. Margaret's code made the computer ignore the extra task and focus on the landing. It brought the eagle closer to the moon's surface. Closer, closer, touchdown. The eagle has landed, announced astronaut Neil Armstrong. 
The control room cheered and Margaret was a hero. Later that night, the eagles hashed open. Margaret held her breath. Armstrong took the first step on the moon. The whole world celebrated in front of their televisions. Hurrah, 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 hooray. Hooray, hello, hurrah. <laughs> Margaret walked outside smiling. Her code had helped the astronauts get to the moon, and she knew it would help get them home safely. As always, she gazed at the night sky in wonder. FIRST has opportunities for learners of all ages to engage in robotic activities from kindergarten through high school. For more information, go visit firstinspires.org. Thanks for joining us with Reading with Robots.